so coastal river deltas are very important places globally. They're home to uh, a huge number of people, but also large areas of agricultural production. Um, but they're also sort of pressed between pressures from the upstream river basin and rising seas downstream. So they're hotspots of sustainable development challenges. So we looked at 49 uh, river deltas around the world. And some of the issues that we see uh, in, in terms of driving risk in the future are uh, land subsidence, so when the delta land actually sinks, and that's a big issue in uh, the Mekong Delta in Vietnam, for example. Um, population density and, and particularly growing population densities in the future are a, a big challenge. Um, extreme sea levels are another big uh, determinant of risk in certain deltas. So there's a range of different risk factors affecting different deltas around the world. When, uh, for example, land subsidence uh, is a problem, regulations on groundwater extraction, so groundwater extraction is one of the causes of land subsidence, so governments can regulate how much water is taken out of the earth in order to stop that, uh, that land sinking. Uh, in other cases, when population density is a, is a challenge, then it really comes down to sort of strategic urban planning and village development to, to build flood resilience in, in urban settings. Uh, when extreme sea levels are one of the main drivers, then we can look at things like early warning systems for storm surges and high tides, um, but also defences against extreme sea levels, so barriers, for example, and things like that. In certain deltas, when um, certain drivers of risk can be identified, they can be dealt with by the local governments. Uh, in other cases, it's global issues where we need a global collective um, action to address the problems.